Hello, this is Eat the Plants. Um, it is December 8th, 2012, and the beautiful uh, tropical plant tr tree that you're looking at here, it's called the Red Lady Papaya. And um, not everybody likes papaya, but um, I really enjoy them. Um, this is the one, of, one of the most tropical fruit trees that you, know, that you can get, right? Um, I think a lot of people know about the papaya uh, fruit and, and plant, but you know not everybody is in the right um, um, temperature and environment where they can grow them successfully. I'm here in Central Florida. Uh, I got friends that live down in Miami. That's you know subtropics you know area, and they can grow just about any kind of tropical plants down there, no problem. Um, mangoes do well and you know just about everything does well down there and because they don't ever really see any any frost any freezing and things like that uh, this tree right now stands about uh, three and a half four feet I picked this one up I think at one of the big box stores and it's about ten bucks and I have I've had this now for about uh, five to six months and I would say that it probably has um, it probably has doubled in size in uh, height since I've gotten it when I got it it was like in a one of those one gallon pots and I threw it in maybe like a five gallon pot so not much of an upgrade um, and that's probably highly restricted the, the growth on it so now I went ahead like I'm doing with all my other fruit trees and I planted it in the ground and so I suspect that it'll probably um, have a major growth spurt in the not too distant future <laughs> um, here is the little uh, tag that came along with the, the plant and so the red lady papaya is known to be one of the um, the best tasting um, dwarf size uh, papaya trees uh, produces one of the best tasting fruit from what I've, I've read and it's you know that I kind of like the idea of dwarf sized um, fruit trees because I don't have to deal with the you know maintaining a really tall large tree even though they say that you can pretty much keep most trees dwarf size if you just prune them properly but I, I think some trees don't really care much for pruning they just you know they naturally grow taller but this this has a pretty controlled size um, and it fruits pretty quickly grows rapidly you know matures quickly um, the diameter on this is probably probably got a two and a half inch diameter on this one it's kind of thick on the bottom and then you can see the graph line right there and then that's about above the graph line is maybe about uh, an you know an inch and a half diameter so um, it's been doing pretty good and like I said I haven't, been, I haven't put it in the best environment because it's been in this little constricted pot but hopefully it should start doing quite well in the near future here the only thing is now it's um, the beginning of, uh, of, uh, of winter so it's not the best time for me to plant the thing you know late fall <coughs> but um, you know, I, I figure I'll just try to protect everything from the cold and uh, hope for the best here. And if they make it through the winter, then the roots will probably probably be quite established and ready for um, for springtime. So that's my that's my hope. But anyways, I hope to keep you informed. Um, this is video the first video of the series on this papaya tree. And um, go ahead and, and subscribe so you can find out when I get the updates. Um, I'll probably try to inform you more of, you know, the nutritional value of the papaya and things like that as I continue with the, ser the series. So comment, uh, you know, rate it, rate the video, um, and like I said, subscribe if you would. And uh, give me some feedback, let me know uh, what, if you grow this plant, let me know what works best for you and, um, and what what to stay away from and I'll try to do the same or right, have a great day